Hey guys, so as you can see behind me, this place is a bit of a mess. Um, this week I'm going to be recording some guitar lessons in German. Um, so since we're going to use this as our set, I'm going to bring you guys along turning this into a set and a bit of behind the scenes and stuff. But first we need to bring up the time lapse and clean this up. on this shelf that has to do with creativeness, guitar playing, music and all that. Uh, I put both guitars here, just the, the Gibson just in the background to have a background and of course the Nolan guitar. Um, lights. I do kind of like the fact that I'm recording this on a Sony because that means that I need a lot less light than I normally would need. I'm recording this on ISO 640 which is perfect on the Sony there is no rain or anything and so I get away with using if you come around here using just some fairy lights behind using my little little awesome photo lights and the other one here for um, for for a film and then as a main light using basically just a uh, um, just uh, uh, the desk light that we had laying around here. And that's basically the whole light set lighting setup. Um, and it works because this camera is so awesome in that regard. Um, yeah, I'm gonna switch you over to a second camera, put you on the side, so that you can have a little bit of a behind the scenes look when I'm doing the course itself. So, see you in a minute. Hi. Hallo und willkommen zu meinem kleinen Kanal. Ich bin der Josh. Und in den nächsten Clip. Hi! Hallo. Hi! Hallo und willkommen zu meinem kleinen Kanal. Ich bin der Josh. Und im Laufe des Clips werde ich euch Schritt für Schritt beibringen. Ähm, oder auch nicht gerne. Hi! Hallo und willkommen zu meinem kleinen Kanal. we're alone again. Some takeaways um, from filming just the first chapter of that course. One is I'm using a teleprompter um, so that I don't have to remember all that stuff. And reading a teleprompter is a skill that you have to learn, something that I just realized. 
Um, I stumbled over my words constantly and um, getting the cadence right as if you would speak normally, but still reading ahead and building all that into the sentence and then still looking down the barrel of the camera instead of looking somewhere where the teleprompter is reading. That's a things to process in your mind and if you add to that that I'm actually holding the guitar in my hand and telling people things, um, yeah that's quite, quite a skill to learn, let's put it like that. Um, the second thing is I do like that camera for this, uh, for, for this, for the fact that I um, told you earlier, and it has really proven, this thing can record in such a low light that I'm can actually able to control the light and still have um, enough light to film without having expensive light setup. I don't have expensive lights. The only thing that I, let's put it out. Only things that I have are these guys. Um, which are amazing, by the way, but they are not really that bright. Um, I will say, however, that um, in course of making that, I had to put both of them um, on a cable um, because pulling them, putting them in 100% so that they actually do produce some light strains the battery pretty quick. And if you're recording more than half an hour, basically, uh, you have to put it on the you have to put it on the mains. Uh, what else? I always keep finding new places to use that little GoPro session thingy. Um, this time it really came in handy to film from behind the guitar. Let's put it here and film what my hand is doing behind the neck of the guitar. Um, yeah, other than that, I'm gonna keep moving on and keep learning as I'm going. Um, taking you guys with me. But for now and for today, uh, that's kind of it, uh, and we're gonna continue this tomorrow. Okay. Der Gitarrenseite ist zwischen zwei Punkten gespannt. Das klingt dann so. Ach ja, anspielen. Dann fängst du mit dem linken Finger an und stellst ihn senkrecht auf den zweiten Punkt der Haarseite. Ach, klappen wir einfach den kleinen Finger wieder ein, geben unseren Punkt also ein Schlag vor. Ja, auf den sechsten Punkt, wie wir es schon gelernt haben. Ein O von so einem Akkord, meistens der ist, der unseren Ohren erklärt, was von dem Ton hier hören sollten. Erinnerst du dich? Deswegen geht es mit dem Mittelfinger auf den zweiten Punkt der E-Seite. Hier ist deine Stücke Plastik. Das ist ein Pick. Wenn du dein Lieblingsheißgetränk noch nicht am Start hast, mach dir noch schnell eins. Das macht das mit Denken und Zuhören sehr viel angenehmer. So, das war's. Du bist doch heute der beste Gitarrist, den die Welt je gesehen hat. So I did all the recording now. Um, a lot of takes. I think it took me four days to record and I shifted some stuff around while I was going for it. Um, we're gonna have a look at all of the things that I uh, had in mind while I'm doing that. Um, and then I won't have the finished course this week, but I have all the base and source material now and now I can go into editing and edit smooth everything out. Okay, let's just look at all the details that I have discovered so far. Let's talk gear and set dressing a bit. Um, one, I started out using only this camera um, and then I quickly realized that I needed detail shots of everything. So um, there is a little GoPro in here um, that I used for behind the hand shots to get the behind what I'm doing behind the guitar neck. Um, and then I also started using this little um, this little 360 camera here um, to get shots of my hand in detail. Um, I also quickly figured out that when, <laughs> which I didn't think of before, when I'm doing a shot be from behind me that 
actually everybody can see the mess inside this room, um, which isn't that good. So I started using this green kind of screen to uh, mask that out a bit. Um, we'll see how good that actually works because I haven't looked at the source material yet. Um, then what else? Um, lighting. I do love recording on the, on the Sony A7 free because you can crank that up uh, to high ISOs and it's beautiful. Uh, so I really didn't need that much in terms of lighting. I'm recording as I'm recording now. I have been recording with ISO 2000. Um, so on, on an F, on a four point F stop. And so I really use this um, table light and a photo light as a fill light. And another photo light as a background separator light behind here. And that's, that's kind of all there is. Um, I started using my laptop as a teleprompter, which was an interesting experience to make one because there is something about reading from a teleprompter and still have it sound like your actual voice and like you actually just speaking that instead of reading that, um, that you need to learn. And the other thing is bring your teleprompter really, really close to the lens of the camera because it looks really awkward if somebody's speaking into the camera, but not actually speaking into the camera and looking somewhere off the side of the camera as if, I don't know, as if you were here instead of here. Um, yeah, that's not good. So put the teleprompter really, really close to the camera. That's what I did here as well. And um, that's my whole setup. So um, glad you joined me in here. That's it for now. Um, we gonna close that chapter here off. And when I'm finished editing all the courses, I will tell you guys as well. Um, yeah, see you next week. Bye. Ich bin der Josh und in den nächsten Blip. Hi! Ich habe zu wenig Punkte auf meinem Teleprompter. Und jetzt wird es mir zu blöd, meinen Text zu lesen. Tralalalala. What?